St. Patrick's Day is this Tuesday, and for many people that means green beer and partying. However, what's a good way to stay out of trouble? I find out. I'm Special Constable Brent Arsenal, Community and Crime Prevention Programs at Fanshawe College. The Special Constable says they will be out in full force Tuesday night to ensure you have a fun and safe St. Paddy's Day. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, St. Paddy's Day is a time when people want to be out and about. They want to have fun. They want to enjoy some time with friends. Um, certainly we're advocating for people to be safe and do whatever you can to mitigate your own risks. So we're going to be out in the campus community. We're going to be out on patrol. We're going to be doing what we do and know that we're here as a resource. So please come and approach us if anything should happen and report something before it becomes a major incident. Fanshawe College and London Police Services work closely together, especially on a night like this. We do actually work in conjunction with London Police Service. Um, we're sworn uh, peace officers here at Fanshawe College, so we have all policing authority. Uh, but we certainly do work in conjunction with London Police and support their initiatives as well. So there's no doubt um, their primary objective is the exact same as ours, where we want people to be safe and have fun. The special constable has some tips for you to keep in mind before heading out Tuesday. Careful how much you drink and have a plan in place before you start drinking. Sometimes people will try and make decisions after they've consumed a vast amount of alcohol and that's not the time to make the decision. So have a plan in place on what you're going to do before you actually do it. As an example, if you're traveling, make sure you take a cab, make sure you take a bus. Don't be surprised if you see more officers on duty this St. Patrick's Day. There's no doubt that we have to prepare for these type of things because we know people are going to be drinking more than they would usually consume. Um, so we will have additional student auxiliary as well as team members on about, and we're just here to make sure that we're providing a safe and secure environment for you. While most places have an app, so does Fanshawe calls a Stay Safe app, and the special constable is encouraging you to use it if the time comes. The first thing I'm going to tell you, actually, I don't know if you're aware, is to download our Stay Safe Fanshawe app. It's available on every platform that has all our numbers in that app. That also has taxi cab numbers, bus routes, and bus schedules. The number you want to dial is 519-452-4244 to report any campus emergency or you'll also see emergency call box within the corridors and or the parking lot. So those are the red emergency towers with the blue strobe light on top. The one advice I give to you as a student is don't be dismissive of something. Um, if you see somebody that's staggering about or making a wrong choice, let us know about it. It's not that you're necessarily getting a, a person in trouble per se, it's that we're going to help protect that person before he or she makes additional decisions that they're not going to like. Uh, at the end of the day, you're going to be held accountable, so you might as well be responsible. Fanshawe College and Fanshawe Student Union celebrated St. Patrick's Day this past Thursday with their St. Practice Day pub. Event and Activities Manager Kevin Masterson says it was important for Fanshawe and FSU to have an FSU-sanctioned event. I like to think that, you know, uh, you know, we can be responsible here where it's contained. We have our, you know, security and, uh, you know, our trained people. And, uh, you know, it's a lot better than just, you know, a house party where there's, there's no rules and no regulations. Vanessa Colbert, XFM News.